GTA 4. We're getting to that special someone, double A gamer for life. Okay, so Nico's finally going to meet the guy that altered his life so many years ago. And GTA 4 was all about making these choices and whether or not uh, you want to let this person live or kill him. And it's really up to the gamer where you want to go with this. Um, I just feel it's probably the way to go is to kill this person. Uh, you know, he's running around Liberty City. What's he going to do to get ends meet? He's most likely going to kill and rob. It's a tough decision. Uh, you know, he's ridden with guilt from the past. He's uh, an empty shell of a person. But it's still um, my personal opinion is to take him out and uh, move on. And, but <clears throat> I am doing a video walkthrough on this. And so the first part of the video is all about the dialogue between Nico and Roman and, you know, what's happened in the past. And then we're going to take the decision of killing him and then cut back in whether you want to let him live and the dialogue that happens after that. Either way, uh, the game kind of goes on, and then we get into that one last thing after this where we uh, make the decision of taking the money, doing the revenge, and so on. We'll get into that in the next videos, but... Let's just get into this special someone and then make your own choice whether you want to take this person out or let him live. Felix, I have your man. He's been flown in. We're going to drop him in the airport cargo area for you. No more jobs? Is that it? Am I out? You're out. You've done good things for us, and we are grateful. That said, I've given you a lot of protection. Here in, you're alone. Goodbye. Yeah. Roman, they brought Darko Brevich into the country for me. This is almost over. I'm going to finish it. Nico, you can't do this alone. I'm coming with you. Come collect me from Firefly Island. All right, wait there for me. They are bringing him to the cargo bay at Francis International. I do not want to be late after I've waited so long. Well, this is the big moment that you've been waiting for for so long. I hope you will not be disappointed. Disappointment is not a consideration. I have not been the same man since the day that Darko betrayed us, since I saw those things. We lost a lot of friends that day, Nico. We both did. In some way, our friends from the village were lucky. I lost myself that day, too. Everything that was good and innocent in me died along with them. If I could live those hours again, I think I would have preferred to be buried in the pit along with everyone else. But this is all that is left of me. What am I good at, Roman? What is my trade? Big deal in death. Because that is all that is over. I will tell you what you are good at, Nico. You are a good cousin and a good friend. You still have integrity. No matter what you say, there is humanity in you. You still have the power to be good. It's important that you believe that. Maybe I will start to believe it when Darko is dead. That might give me some perspective. This killing must stop sometime, Nico. Once this is done, then you must begin to forgive. Think about your future instead of the horrible things that have happened to you. To us, to all of us, in the past. After this is done, then we can talk about forgiveness and redemption. Now is not the time for such conversation. This is it. This is where it all ends.
remember me? Puste me. Ne poznajem te. I don't know you. Yes, you do. I'm the one who survived. Nego. Hello. Reci mi zašto. Zašto? Zato što smo bili prijatelji. Svi smo odrasli za jedno. Mitar, Dragan, Goran, Mio. Mogu da nastavim. Svio, a? We were friends, but now you're not as friends. Friends dead. Goran and his guys killed. My fucking neighbors. Because of what? Because of shit. Lies. Fucking lies. So that makes it okay to stab your friends in the back? Fuck you! Strange choices! How much? <laughs> A thousand. <laughs> you killed my friends for one thousand dollars. How much did you charge to kill somebody? You ruined me, you fuck! Piece of shit! That was for everyone! That was for me! Okay, Nico, it's over. It's all over now. Leave him there. We should go, before anyone turns up. Will you take me over to Bruce's house? I'm turning this shit off. I can't take listening to those annoying ads and DJs right now. There you go. You got your revenge. How does it feel? I don't know how it feels. I'm trying to take it all in. This is the moment you've been waiting for. For so long, Nick. What do you mean you don't know how you feel? I mean, I don't know. I feel empty, okay? I feel empty. That's something. At least. No, Roman. It's nothing. The emptiness is what I was trying to get rid of by finding Darko. I've been empty ever since that day. I thought that revenge, killing Darko, might fill me up a bit, might give me some substance. And it hasn't? No, it hasn't. Does that make you happy? Of course it doesn't make me happy, but maybe this is good for you. Maybe now that you know that revenge is not what you are after, you can look for it. Fulfillment in other places. Healthy ones. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Here we are. Do you want to come in and hang with Brucey? No. I need to be alone. Thank you for being with me, cousin. Do not mention it. Call me, Nico. The wedding is soon.
thought you should know. Dargo is dead. He's finally paid for his crimes. That's good to know, Nix. You should let go of it now. You have a new life in America. Forget the past. Sometimes I think my past is all I got. So long. You look after yourself. Let's go, cut. Will you take me over to Bruce's house? I'm turning this shit off. I can't take listening to those annoying ads and DJs right now. You did the right thing. It was not often that man can be sure of that. You definitely did the right thing. Proud of yourself. Let's have a fucking party. Break out the champagne and let the diseased, traitorous junkie live after hunting him for over a decade. Shit! Someone hand me the keys to the fucking city. There's no need to take that tone, cousin. I'm sorry if my tone offends you, Roman. But this has been a very difficult moment for me. It took every fiber of my being, pulling in the same direction, not to kill Darko. Do not get revenge for all those lives he took away. What made you spare him, Nick? I don't know. I wanted it for so long, he would just be dead. Like everyone else from our village, I was the one that survived the first attack. <laughs> Living is not easy. No. I would live to kill in Darko as well. But then when I looked at him, I realized that nothing would change if I killed him. Revenge would not somehow shut the book on what I have seen. Only those who die get closure. Living do not. So you keep living. And you try to have a happy life. You, you try to move on. I try to. Yes. to come in and hang with Brucey. No. I need to be alone. Thank you for being with me, cousin. Do not mention it. Call me, Nico. The wedding is soon. I thought I should let you know. I found Darko. The guild has destroyed him. I don't know. Somehow, it was better to walk away. You know what? I'm really proud of you, Nico Bellic. After what we've had to live with these last 12 or 13 years, I know how much it hurt you. And you walked away. I know this must be hard for you, but you won, Nico. You really did. We've got to celebrate. You're free now. Maybe a spa day? Sure, whatever. I'll speak to you soon, Bernie. Yeah, Nico ain't much for a spa. Anyway, that's a look at both ways of that special someone, and whichever way you go, it doesn't really reflect a whole lot on what's going to happen anyway. Uh, it's just uh, really up to you, the gamer, uh, what you want to do with this thing. Like I said, it was my decision to go ahead and just uh, kill this person. Uh, I doubt very seriously that uh, he would have done any good and most likely he would have had to kill and rob and do whatever to make a, to get by while he was here in Liberty City. So that's just the way I rolled with this. And we'll see you on the next one. Hope you're liking these videos.